What's up, everybody? Day 17, a very special edition today. Because we get a 5-star epic speed artifact. No, that's not really the reason. The reason it's special today is because... It will be my first time ever trying to fight the Hydra Clan boss. I'm not really sure what to expect. I did a little bit of reading about what they do, but... I already forget everything I read earlier. I did get level 45 yesterday. I did miss out on the legendary tome from the champion training event by like 700 points, which even though I don't need legendary tomes, it still kind of frustrated me <laughs> missing out on it by so such a small margin. If I had had one more gem refresh last night, I probably could have done enough campaign to hit my level 45 and then finish the champ training, but sadly I did not. Let's see what we got from Clan Boss. I already collected my easy chest and put a key in there. Ooh, that could be good. Okay. Would have preferred speed instead of attack, but that's good. That's That'll be useful. Um, just go through my champions here. So Apothecary is almost level 50 now. I've got four champions leveled to 40-ish. That are waiting to be turned into chickens. So all I'm doing today is leveling food in campaign. Um, the one really big downside to holding on to so many champions. Is my player power goes up which makes arena harder. But I really don't want to get rid of all of these rares. That I've been saving for faction guardians. So I guess I just have to live with it. Leveled up some more artifacts yesterday. Um, yeah, got shield guards. Boots up to 16. Apothecary is pretty much all 16 now. Some of these I brought to 12. Yeah. So I'm still at the point where I am really can't be picky with gear. I just have to get what I can, use it on my Faction Wars champs, and hope for the best. I'm hoping tonight I'll be able to get Apothecary to level 6, uh, sorry, at least to 6 star. And then hopefully beat Nether Spider. Attack boots. I'll hold on to them. I'll just throw them on a garbage champ. Alright, let's get into Hydra. First, I'm just going to use up a little bit of energy. I have no idea what to expect from Hydra. I'm hoping I can get at least like one chest out of the deal and slowly start building up fragments for that champion. But I don't even know if I'll be able to. I'll just do this run and that should be good.
Okay. Hydra time. <laughs> okay, so you can get... You can get shards even from the easiest chest. So I need to do at least 1.66 mil. Okay. Well, I'm basically just going to put in my best champs then. Let's see how it goes. Head of Decay. Heal Reduction. Removes all debuffs. Okay, adds a life barrier shield. Whenever I heal myself, my hit point, max hit points is decreased. What? Head of Blight. Poisoner. Okay. Poison Cloud on all heads. Not sure what that does. Double damage from hit points burn. Alright. Head of Suffering. Attacks all enemies. 25% weaken. Ally Protection. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Okie dokie. And the Head of Wrath. Decrease attack. Each enemy hit received increases the vengeance counter. So I don't want to hit that guy. Very much. Alright. Well let's just uh around then and see what we can do oh wow the dwarf has to run so far to hit. I'm doing like no damage to these guys. What the heck? Wow. Okay, so I'm not ready for Hydra. <laughs> I wasn't... I don't think there's any way I'm, I'm getting that chest... Um... This month. Probably need at least two more weeks. Maybe three more weeks to get a team of 60s here. So, that's sad. That's very sad. Okay, so I gotta work on that. I can't use my... I can't use the same team now. And Yeah. You need 18 champions to use 3 keys. A little bit outrageous, but whatever. Got 
Got knocked down to silver two yesterday. The fights down here are a lot more chill. Yeah, I'm not very confident with any of these other fights, really. I might be able to outspeed this guy. But Magnar, level 60, is probably built like a brick, brick shithouse. So, I'll just leave it. Uh, some of the champs I got yesterday. So, I was pulling some mystery shards. I got a couple of rare dwarfs. Block active skills on his A1. 40% chance, 50% when booked for a stun, if the enemy is under a debuff. And then a continuous heal and block buff on all allies, and a block debuff on the target ally for one turn. Okay, so he should be nice for faction wars. Hatchet Slinger has this cheese mechanic. Right here, places an un unkillable buff on this champion for two turns. I can book it down to a four turn, but basically if I have this guy running the slowest, um, I can throw that unkillable buff up and he'll be able to tank waves for me, which is going to be kind of interesting. Uh, so that'll be useful, really useful for faction wars. And my dwarf team is pretty much full now. I've got Runic Warder, Dolor, Madman, Hatchet Slinger, and Slicer. So those are the five for now that I'll be focusing on. If I get Avir the Elk Mage, I'm going to switch one of them out for him. This guy is really nice. He's got AoE uh, decreased attack and decreased speed. If the target's under poison. But this is the move right here fills the turn meters by 15 percent and heals all allies by 15 percent of his max hit points so i just build him with a ton of hit points and he can help uh support the team with heals i'm sure i got some other ones too let me take a quick look here maybe not maybe that was all i kept I did get the spy master dude from the one of the events. So I think by now I've gotten one of each of the rares. I got Medicus, Spy Master, Cagebound, and Trugador, or whatever his name is. So theoretically, I could get one of uh, one of the dwarf epics if I was using them, but since I'm not using those fusions, I won't. She looks pretty good, though. She would be great for a spider. My great hall. I have enough tokens to upgrade my accuracy. So I got my first blue Great Hall tab. And let's look at that speed artifact. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You get four pieces? What? I thought it was just one. Oh, this could be huge. Looking for crit rate, speed, obviously. Crit damage, accuracy. 
Ugh. Oh my god. These are such terrible stats. Oh my god. That's painful. That is painful. I mean, they're not useless. I'll still use them, but... Yeah, that's a yikes. Maybe tonight I'll try to... Use my Apothecary to push Brutal Campaign. See how much energy I end up with. Well, that's disappointing. Um, my next mission is to finish these clan quests here. So I'm going to do those. Maybe I can just do those real quick and then cash in and see what I get. So I'm definitely going to buy the last 100 energy that I can get from the clan shop. And then I'm probably going to buy some rare books. And then the rest I'll spend on revenge accessories. Really hoping for like a crit damage amulet for Kale. Or basically any any solid amulet that has accuracy sub rolls for my debuffers. If I can get Kale in three, two or three revenge accessories, though, that'll go a long way with, uh, like, Doom Tower bosses. Okay. So I still got a ways to go on the speed. Uh, 750, so 100. And I just really needed these books for Apothecary. As you can see, it was his cooldowns that were the last to upgrade. So now he's finished. That's an insane power boost for him. And then we'll buy four of these. Okay, Skinwalkers. Decent attack ring, sadly four star. Crit damage amulet. For barbarians with accuracy. If this rolls in accuracy, this will be great for War Maiden.
Even just one roll. Come on, one roll in accuracy. Uh. Still gonna put it on her because she has nothing right now. Where are the other ones? Shadowkin Amulet. I think it was this one. Attack. Very useless. And a Dwarves Amulet with defense. This will go on to... What's his name? Runic Warder. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, it last was this. No, I already checked the Skinwalker's ring. Okay, well, whatever. We got an upgrade, that's fine. And then I've got. 350 more gold coming my way. So. Be 100. I can buy three more of these. Although I kind of want to buy. Yeah. I'll buy one more of these. High Elves Amulet. Attack, of course. The most useless. I'm just gonna level it to four. And... Finally, Faction Wars. I didn't get much pushing done yesterday. I had Ogren and Skinwalkers. Um, I did enough to get up to 120 stars, which was the rare tome. So today I have Barbarian and Dark Elf. So maybe today I'll level these guys to 30 since I need chickens anyway. And then I'll try to clear this with them. I think last time I tried this, I didn't have any gear on my spirit spirit host. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be doable. Too many force affinities. Uh-oh. That provoke A1 is... Yeah, so that one's going to be a tough sell. Uh, we'll give it a shot later. Barbarians, though. I might be able to push a bit further here. I can get these two to 20 tonight. Maybe upgrade them to 3 star and get them to 30. Um... I can't remember if I tried this stage before.
Seems easy enough. Maybe I'll do some more upgrades on Shield Guard's gear tonight. Oh yeah, we're back in the epic materials. I'd really like to kill a lure. Maybe I should have gone for her first. Maybe I can stun her. Oh yeah, he's got no gear on. I guess I kind of got to go for Drexstar here. Yeah. Ooh, so close. Boom. I have a feeling I won't be passing this stage, but we'll see. Maybe I'll uh, put some gear on Trugor as well tonight. problem with uh, this point in the game is I have so many plans, but I run out of energy so quickly. Here, I really want to kill Bellower. Ooh, that's rough. So yeah, I don't think I have a chance with this one now. Might be able to do it later once I upgrade some gear. Yeah, see, this will be an easy nuke when I have shield guard. Good to know, good to know. So that'll be nice getting some more epic gear. Uh, that's basically the update. I'm going to keep working on Apothecary. And hopefully we're going to get into the Doom Tower tonight and take out this damn Nether Spider. Now that he's got books and now that, well, once I get him to six star as well, be huge. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.